This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So, hello guys, welcome back to another video of our channel. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on how to make bug hunting easy. But before going to the video, we were having advanced batch 3, a complete advanced guide for bug hunters. The registrations were closed, but you can still take a look on the contents. And if you want to enroll, you can end rather than end. Other than that, we are having a few new courses, the $100 Recon course. It's a complete reconnaissance guide from A to Z, what you have to do in a proper and a live manner. And you can even get live hunting sessions with it on the weekend. So take a look onto that. And also we are having a few new recorded courses. You guys can take a look on them here. So that was for it. Let's take a look on the video. So uh, this is not a clickbait video that how to make bug hunting easy. So look, the first thing I would like to say is bug hunting is not easy, right? It's simple but hard. Just because in the previous videos we have seen that it is having a lot of crowds in all the fields like web, Android, iOS, all those things. So how will you overcome that, right? So the first thing for making bug bounty easy is escape the crowd. You need to just uh, do something different from the crowd or you will be engaged in the duplicates, no duplicables or maybe the informational bug. So what's the first thing you can do from skipping the uh, crowd? You have to learn a lot of things in short. You know we are ignoring the OASP and the books from a long time. We are just going to the courses, videos, all those things. The first thing that you have to do is focus on the guides. The first guide I would suggest is the OASP guide. Because that's a, I will say, one of the most in-depth and the most practical books that you can ever read about bug bounty, in my opinion. So take a look onto that. Secondly, don't go like whenever you find some sort of API, don't be like the guy who just find and search it on other platforms on GitHub. Go to their documentation, read it. Because if you are able to read them, about explore them, you will be learning a lot of more things, and you will be you will be exploiting in a very different way. Maybe it can give you high severity bugs. Third thing, don't ignore policies. You know, a lot of people or a lot of students are like, you know, they'll be they'll be just messaging me around. I got this bug. I reported this bug. X person got bounty for this bug, right? So they'd be like, you know, my friend got bounty of 500 for this bug, but I got informational. It's completely depended on the policy on the company's impact. You don't have to uh, submit a bug on just the base of several editor blogs. You have to find a practical way to exploit it and affect the company or the users for the bug. And only in that condition you will be able to give or get a bounty. One more thing. Don't be a guy who says, okay, I can't hunt on this platform. This is not good. This is bad. It's completely dependent on you. How you hunt on a program, how you want to work on a program, right? It's completely about how you read the policies. Do you follow their policies? Are you capable of hunting on their program? How the internal pen testing works? All those things. So there's nothing called a good program, bad program, late response, early response, no bounty information. It's completely based on the policies, how the web works and what's the flow of it and your bugs impact. These things matters a lot. Yeah, without these things, I don't think you would be able to achieve good bounties. After all, hunting is not only about uh, doing these things. Hunting is a very complex thing, right? If you just take a look on uh, previous videos, which is the Zoom and Shodan. Hunting is not only about uh, going on the app.domain.com and just finding bugs on the functionality. It also depends on how the backend works, what the information leaked about them. If you are getting any IPs, if that's a wild card, how to hunt on it. You can use ASN numbers, you can use IP lookups, even you get a range in many programs. So if there is a range in a program, that's a crazy resource in short. Go hunt on it. It's way um, efficient for you. So definitely take a look onto that. Have a habit of daily learning, uh, going on to Twitter, reading uh, tweets about bug bounties because on Twitter you will be updated about everything. And I'll be mentioning a resource collection that you have to take a look on. It will be a very good resources for you to make bug bounty easy in 2024. 
so we are on the end of 2023 i don't know when i'm going to upload this video but yeah we are at the end of 2023 and you definitely have to take a look on the upcoming bug bounty sessions so definitely work hard on your bug bounty journeys have a good luck for the upcoming year and that's for the video